you may be aware uh, in America primarily they're uh, <coughs> going through, suffering through what they call identity politics. Identity politics is basically whereby, depending on who you are, determines what you should have or should be given by whites, privileged whites. Um, blacks, blacks, don't <coughs> blacks don't have to give to the chinks, and chinks don't have to give to Mexicans or something like that. <laughs> It's only whites. <clears throat> now, there's a couple of problems here. The first problem, there just isn't enough to go around. We've got a situation where the, <clears throat> the reason the whites have, the primary reason is because of a combination of intelligence which leads to production. You know, business is the only thing that makes money. When business, and they make money when they're productive. If they're not productive, they don't make money, they lose money. Um, <clears throat> pardon my throat. So, it's, it's all very well to promote the idea of identity politics and assume that, well, every, every Amer African American would be nice if they could have a house. Um, fuck's going on, my phone, anyway. But there's, there's, it doesn't work that way. Between there's a combination of not enough money to go around, and perhaps even if there was, don't forget that money has to come from a productive individual who worked hard to make it, to give to someone who just puts their hand out and says, "I want a house, or I want, I want, you know, whatever benefits." Now that's one side of the argument. Then there's another side of the argument which says. See, because whites, there is such a thing as white privilege. It's a factual reality. Not everyone who's white has as much privilege as the top end whites. But one of the things about being, you know, an Ethiopian, a starving Ethiopian or something like that, is you're born, your parents were basically starving and malnutrition suffering from malnutrition, you're probably going to suffer the same thing, so your physical and cognitive development is going to be stunted. So you're not going to have a photographic memory or a high IQ and, and, a, and a, a good education leading to a good job. It's not going to happen. Now, so if you really think about it, those who have, it doesn't matter whether it's how much work, hard work they did, the reason they have is because they were lucky. They were lucky, they were born in America, England, Canada, wherever, to acceptable parents who gave them acceptable levels of nutrition, allowed their cognitive processes to develop, which led to intelligence and the ability to comprehend at a high level. And from, and from that, you know, productivity is about dealing with complexity and maximizing your resources. And only, and that's that's the role for of intelligence. It's not the role of some average person. The average person can't do that. They might think they can, but they can't. So, it, it, it is true that you know if you're wealthy, regardless of whether you inherited or you work for it, you're you're kind of lucky. So there's that side of the argument. That's the other side of the argument whereby this is why people put their hand out because they say, well, you know, he's lucky because he had the privilege. Whether he's white or not, it doesn't have to be white. There's other people, other um, identity politics flavors, such as Asian and, and the Mexicans and so on. You know, so so everyone wants, but they must understand in this system of capitalism, there's there's only so much to go around. So if you put your hand out in capitalism, you're not going to get shit. You get fuck all. The only way to make to get something in capitalism is to be productive one way or another. Of course, we could fully automate, and that would be the great equaliser, where there'd be no such thing as starvation or poverty, um, or even to some degree any can very much in the way of consumer deprivation. Most people would would actually be satisfied. Someone like me who doesn't want that much in terms of consumer products 
can be very easily satisfied in a full automation world. Um, but And others, you know, consumption becomes meaningless at some point as well. And I think people will wake up to the fact that even if, if you have the option to have all the goodies in the world, you're not going to take it or even use it. But full automation can ensure that everybody is fed, everybody is housed, everybody has energy, everybody has transport, and pretty much 99% of the population have as much consumer goods as they want. Yet here we are dicking around with capitalism. How fucking stupid are we? How stupid are you listening to this if you can't comprehend that full automation works? Fucking dumb! <laughs>